Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, these uh, three squares put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, yellow square is 4, the area of this uh, green uh, square is 36. And now our task is to calculate uh, the diagonal AB of this uh, blue square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here is our action plan. We are going to calculate the side length uh, of this uh, blue square before we calculate uh, the diagonal AB. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow square whose area is uh, 4. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equal to S square where S represents the side length uh, of the square. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, yellow square is going to be 2 since uh, 2 square is going to give us uh, 4. As you can see over here the side length uh, of this uh, yellow square is uh, 2. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, green square whose uh, area is 36. And once again we are going to apply this area of a square formula. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, green square turns out to be 6 since uh, 6 square is going to give us uh, 36. As you can see over here the side length uh, of this uh, green square is uh, 6 across the board. And here's our next uh, step. We have labeled uh, these points as uh, C, D, E and uh, F. And now our task is to calculate these individual side length uh, C, D and then uh, this uh, D, A. And now we know that uh, this whole uh, side length is uh, 6 and this uh, tiny side length is uh, 2. So therefore uh, this uh, FD length is going to be 6 minus 2 is going to give us uh, 4. And furthermore, uh, let's uh, assume that this uh, side length uh, EA is uh, X units. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, value of uh, X. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two right triangles uh, AED and this another right triangle uh, D, F, C and these two angles are uh, 90 degrees. So therefore we conclude that these are two right triangles uh, A, E, D and this other right triangle uh, D, F, C are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem because uh, these angles are 90 degrees each uh, and these are our uh, corresponding angles. So therefore we are going to have a proportions so the ratio of uh, x and uh, 6 let me go ahead and write down x divided by 6 is uh, going to be equal to the ratio of 4 and 2 let me go ahead and write down 4 divided by 2 let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 6 uh, to isolate uh, x this 6 and 6 is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 12. So therefore I can replace this x by 12 over here. In other words our EA length turns out to be 12. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AED whose uh, side lengths are 12 and uh, 6. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of this uh, side length uh, dA. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call uh, this longest leg as side c, this side a and this side uh, b. Go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So a square is uh, going to be 12 square plus b in our case is 6 square equal to c square. So therefore c square value turns out to be 180. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on both sides. And here we can see this square and square root is gone. So c equal to. And now let's focus on this uh, right hand side. And here I have copied down uh, square root of 180. And if we simplify this one 
it turns out to be 6 times square root of 5. So therefore our c value turns out to be 6 times square root of 5. So therefore our dA length turns out to be 6 times square root of 5. 5. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this another right triangle uh, DFC. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem once again to find the value of this uh, side uh, CD. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg uh, as our side uh, C. I'm going to call this side A and this uh, B. Let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So A square is going to be 4 uh, square plus B is uh, 2 square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking square root uh, on uh, both sides. So therefore our c value is going to be equal to and now let's focus on this uh, right hand side. I have just copied down this square root of 20 and if we simplify that is going to be equal to 2 times uh, square root of 5. So therefore c is going to be equal to 2 times uh, square root of uh, 5. So therefore our this side length uh, CD is going to be 2 times uh, square root of 5. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square now and we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, of this uh, blue square. So therefore the side length of this blue square is going to be a 2 times square root of 5 plus uh, this uh, length uh, 6 uh, times uh, square root of 5. We're going to add them up. So therefore the side length of this uh, blue square turns out to be 8 uh, times uh, square root of uh, 5. And since we are dealing with the square, so all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, blue square are going to be 8 times uh, square root of 5 across the board. And in this next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ACB. And we know that this angle is uh, 90 degrees since we are dealing with the square. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as side uh, c. I'm going to call this side uh, a and this side uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. a in our case is a times uh, square root of 5 uh, whole uh, square plus likewise uh, b is a times uh, square root of 5 uh, whole uh, square equal to c square. And we know that the square of uh, 8 times square root of 5 is going to be 320 and likewise this one uh, 320 as well. So therefore uh, c square is going to be equal to if we add this one this we're going to get uh, 640. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, on the left hand side c is going to be equal to and now let's focus on the right hand uh, side. Here I have copied down a square root of 640 and if we simplify that turns out to be 8 times uh, square root of 10. So therefore our c value turns out to be 8 times the square root of 10. So therefore our this uh, a b length is going to be 8 times the square root of 10. So thus our a b length turns out to be 8 times the square root of 10 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 25.3 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.